Hey everybody, Jedi 17475 here with another Star Wars video. Uh, today I will do another vlog for you on some of the merchandise I have picked up re recently. So, to start off as usual, we'll start with the um, smaller items. Um, I got a Star Wars The Clone Wars uh, based Pez uh, dispenser of R2-D2. And this one I will be keeping in the packaging as um, I have all the Clone Wars um, Pez open and um, I have probably half of them still in the packaging. So I'll just keep this one uh, in the packaging for now. So uh, moving right along, I'll move into the Star Wars literature and I sure do have a lot of it. Um, a brand new thing I got just about a week ago awesome book is the Star Wars of Clone Wars character encyclopedia. And for fans of the Clone Wars, I really, really, really recommend getting this. It is a perfect book for the Star Wars um, character. Just don't write it right now. Open it up. pre Vizsla. And it has all the information about him. And an absolutely great book. If you have the Star Wars Visual Dictionary, it is very similar to that, except based off the Clone Wars. So, great find. Next, I got this today at a uh, kind of secondhand store, just a version of Empire Strikes Back as a book. So I'll probably read that soon, just to see if there's any differences between the movie and the book. So, very nice. Next, I got a book that I, I haven't read this one because it's part of a series and I don't have the other books in a series. And uh, like the Empire Strikes Back, this is more of a secondhand uh, store book. So this one is Star Wars The New Jedi Order, Dark Tide 2, Ruin. So, just because it's Star Wars, you know, had to get it probably for like 25 cents, I think. Um, so, very nice. And the same story goes with this one, Star Wars Legacy of the Force, Sacrifice. I believe there is one book before this. So, you know, if I just read it now, it really wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. So I'll hopefully, with better luck, try and track down the other books in the series. And finally, uh, another great book. This is the Star Wars The New Essentials Guide to Weapons and Technology. Kind of an older book. It came out in around 2002-2003 with Attack of the Clones. And um, very nice, actually. It has some details on certain weapons and stuff. I'll try and get one for you. It has clone armor. It has armor, weapons, um, many different things. I'll try and get you. Here's some lightsaber designs. So, lots of useful information. So, very nice. Um, with that stuff out of the way, I'll move into the figures. I think I'll start off with the Saga Legends. So, moving right into this, I have uh, another Empire Strikes Back Bounty Hunter, IG-88. Apparently this is one of the rarer figures from uh, the Saga Legends line. The first wave Saga Legends was apparently somewhat rare, so I was very happy to pick this up in a, a local Walmart. So, very nice figure. Um, let's see, next I have... Ooh, great figure and a great addition to the clone army. Um, since I don't have a lot of clones, I'm slowly trying to, trying to build up the army. So this is the AOTC, or Attack of the Clones, Phase 1 Clone Trooper. So, very nice. So, very happy with him. I would like to get all the variant colors, but, you know, I don't think they're releasing the variant colors anytime soon. Uh, next, we got Han Solo in his Empire Strikes Back Hoth outfit. So They've released a lot of these Han Solos, and they're getting kind of old, but, you know, what can you do? Uh, and then here we got um, Hoth Chewbacca. Now, this one is pretty much similar to the uh, Legacy Collection Saga Legend. Uh, Minoc Hunt Chewy, except it just doesn't come with the uh, breathing apparatus. And there's some white snow flakes on him. <coughs> so, very nice. And that's about it for the Sog Legends. 
Um, I haven't really been picking up a lot of Clone Wars because I've really been focusing on the Vintage line. Um, don't get me wrong, I still love the Clone Wars, but, you know, the Vintage, you know, a little more expensive, and it would have been nicer if they didn't throw everything at you, at you at once. However, today I did pick up three Clone Wars uh, figures, so I have completed Wave 1, and today I completed Wave 3. So, I'm just trying to track down some of the Wave 2 figures. So, first I got Clone Pilot Goji from, uh, I think this is the one with the Zillow Beast in it, but I could be mistaken. And I actually got this for six forty nine instead of instead instead of seven forty nine. So nice figure. Uh, next we got uh, one of the better figures from the new Clone Wars line, in my opinion. <coughs> that is Jedi Master Kiati Mundi. This figure appears in my absolute favorite episode of the whole Clone Wars series altogether, and that is Landing at Point Rain. Absolutely my favorite. And if you haven't watched that um, episode, I suggest you go on to Mastertoons.com and look under Star Wars Clone Wars and watch that episode because it is absolutely amazing. So, And then the other figure or the last figure in this wave, but the other figure from Landing at Point Rain, is the long-awaited flamethrower clone trooper. Now, just because he has a flamethrower doesn't mean this is an absolutely awesome figure. His articulation, he is a little stiff, but I'm working that out, just kind of moving the joints around. The one problem I do have with this figure is he um, has very small hands, and he cannot hold his um, flamethrower or his DC-15, so that is kind of a downfall of this guy, but, you know, I must say he is a very nice figure. It makes, uh, looks great along with the other clone troopers. So that's the Clone Wars. Um, I guess I'll move into the vintage line so far. Um, adding on with my uh, clone trooper army, I did get the um, vintage clone trooper just regular clone trooper, except with a removable helmet and ultra articulation. Um, very nice, very happy with him. He looks great along with the other clones I have, so not many though, so. Nice addition from the vintage line. Um, long awaited figure. I've always wanted one, but uh, finally I found one because I never did get the legacy one, and that is the uh, Revenge of the Sith Clone Commander Cody. Absolutely amazing figure. Love him. Just great. And there has been released, um, I believe today on Rebel Scum, that uh, there is a 212th Utapah Trooper coming out in the Vintage line in Wave 5. And Wave 5 is a mix of Revenge of the Sith Troops and A New Hope figures. And the other, some of the other Revenge of the Sith characters are Commander Free. So... We'll be looking out for those. Oh, that's Commander Cody. Uh, next we got um, stocking up on those bounty hunters for episode 5, as that is another collection goal of mine, is to get all the uh, episode 5 bounty hunters by the end of the year. And that's Boba Fett. Very hard for me to track down Boba Fett. I have um, always had trouble finding Boba Fett, and so I'm very glad to get my first Boba Fett, and he is absolutely amazing, I must say. Um, very happy to own one now. But I'm not really happy with the um, card, though. It doesn't look very eye-catching, considering this isn't a view from the movie. This is just computer-generated mock-up, basically. Um, but accurate to the original vintage card. Uh, next, we'll move into the uh, final bounty hunter I have, and that is Dengar. Great figure. This is figure one from the Vintage line. Um, everybody's saying that this is the best figure from the Vintage line, and uh, by no means he doesn't disappoint. He is great figure. So uh, all I have to do is track down a Forlom, and I'm hope I'm thinking about getting the uh, nine figure Target exclusive pack, which has Forlom. So I just may do that and get Luke, which I don't have yet, and some other great figures. So. Not sure, but, you know. So, that's Dengar. 
Uh, next we'll move into, oh, another episode 5, Empire Strikes Back guy. This is Dak Ralter from, uh, he was Luke Skywalker's uh, co-pilot and gunner on the uh, snowspeeder on Hoth. And I most likely, if I can track it down, I will probably pick up the snowspeeder along with the cloud car. But, you know, there's just so many and, you know, everything's so expensive now, you know. I, I'll try and get it, but, you know, it's hard to say. Um, another figure I got is the Revenge of the Sith Darth Sidious. And, yes, this is the Ultimate Galactic Hunt packaging, but, you know, at this point in time, I'm not going to be getting doubles of figures because it's just way too expensive. So, I do hope to complete all of Wave 2, as I really want to get the Sand Trooper to build up my Imperial Army and Anakin and Obi-Wan, you know, look fine. I you know, it's best to get them now when they're de the definitive versions. So, that's Darth Sidious. Um, the other two figures I got are the, uh, Magna Guard, which everybody really likes because, you know, we haven't seen one since 2005, and this is the definitive version, so, for now at least. And he does look great alongside this figure, General Grievous. Um... General Grievous, great figure. He now comes with his uh, Revenge of the Sith cape with pockets for two lightsaber hilts he includes along with the blaster. Um, you may notice that the package bubble, or the blister, is a lot larger to accommodate the General Grievous figure. It's about twice the size of a normal uh, plastic bubble, so that's just a little thing to point out. So, um... Great figure. He is a little hard to stand, but that's the same with every General Grievous figure. So, you know, what can I say about that? So, great figure. And moving right along, I got my very first comic pack. This is a Walmart exclusive. It is uh, uh, Star Wars Tales number four. And this includes IG-97 and ROM Moth. IG-97 is basically an assassin battle droid type guy, and Rom Mock is an Imperial General, so, um, pretty nice comic pack. The comic is really confusing, but, you know, a lot of comics are. Just to point out, Rom Mock is uh, carrying a DC-15 uh, S-Carbine clone blaster instead of uh, E-11, so that's just a little something, something to point out. So, and then finally, the long-awaited, I didn't think I'd get it, but... It came back in stock online, and I'm super excited to get this. Finally, after waiting so long, I got the Jabba's Throne Pack. Very nice figure. Or, uh, actually not a figure, but a battle pack, pretty much. It comes with the um, Ula figure, which we haven't seen since 1995, I think. It comes with Salacious Crumb, Jabba the Hutt himself, his hookah, pillows, and, uh, his throne, the actual stone throne itself, itself, so, um, very nice, um, I may do a review on this, I'm not sure, a lot of people, or not a lot, but there have been some, uh, uh, reviews posted of this guy, so, you never know. This is a Walmart exclusive, and it was supposed to be non-replenishable, so, um, if you go online to walmart.com, you may, it may still be in stock, but um, if you really want this item, which it costs about $44, um, that includes shipping, um, you may want to get this right away because, you know, it's uh, apparently uh, very wanted, especially for the Ulaw figure. So, uh, that's about it. I sh think I may be doing a collection update in a few days, so you will be able to see my collection up close and personal. So, um, that's about it all I have for now. So until next time, Star Wars collectors keep collecting, Star Wars fans start collecting, and may the force be with you. Bye.